What's up guys, Fi here, and today we're going to be breaking down a few fights between Curse and TSM. Now the reason I'm showing you this game is because this fight is really the turning point in the game, and I want to show you how big an impact the smaller things that you don't really think about actually have. So I'm going to pause it here first real quick. Now TSM are ahead in gold, but they have a poke comp, which means that in reality, Curse have a good chance of winning a team fight still if they don't get poked down first. Now looking at items, it's all relatively even except for the support and the AD. So Lucian has finished Triforce, whereas Corky hasn't, and Nami has finished her Crucible, whereas Thresh hasn't, and this is actually going to be really big in the fight as you'll see. So TSM here make the mistake of getting way too cocky and pushing up without vision, and Curse are just going to sweep him from the side here and engage onto Lucian, which is exactly what they don't want as Nidalee hasn't poked anyone down yet. So Syndra is going to land a good stun onto Lucian and this is where we're going to pause it again. So we can see Thresh here launching his hook straight at a stun Lucian which means that he's got no chance of dodging it and really this should be a dead Lucian and a one team fight for Curse. They have four people capable here of jumping in and Lucian is obviously their priority. Nidalee is on the side but in this case they can really just ignore her because she can't burst someone out before they've killed Lucian. Also, if you have a quick look at the top of the screen, you can see a cocoon coming in here, which is going to stun Syndra and prevent him doing anything except launching his ultimate. So I'll just roll this and we'll see what actually happens. Now Lucian didn't die and this is where it turns horribly for Curse. So really he should have died, he ate a full Syndra ultimate and the Thresh hook, but basically it was just Nami. She instantly used her Crucible to break the chain from Thresh and that let Lucian run away. Now that's followed by the Nami heal and the Summoner heal from Lucian and suddenly he's back to over half health, which means that all those cooldowns were used but Lucian can still come back into the fight. The other reason this turns so badly for Curse is because of this spear right here. This spear pretty much turns the fight. Syndra is stunned by the cocoon so he can't dodge it and he eats a pretty much max range spear right to the face taking him down to 25% health. The other thing is that Jax is coming in with TP right next to him so unfortunately he's pretty much out of the fight and he'll be lucky to survive. The other thing really to look at is how Corky has done literally nothing this fight and so even though they've used a lot of stuff on Lucian and forced him out of the fight for now, it hasn't created any advantage. Right now, Corky can either go on to Nidalee here, in which case she'll jump away backwards, or he waits for the TP and tries to kill Jax. Those are really his only two options. He can't move forward because when Jax TPs, he'll then be surrounded, so he's basically got nothing to do except wait. The last two things that I want to point out are the Nami wave here which comes in and completely ruins Curse. It knocks up three people and it prevents anyone getting towards the priority targets, meaning that Curse has to kite backwards which is the opposite of what you want to do against the Nidalee. Now the final thing I want to point out is that Renekton actually TPs off screen at the top to a random ward where there's one right here in the middle of everything. Now I'm not sure why he may have thought that they were going to kite backwards but this actually means that he arrives way later than Jax and he doesn't really have an impact in the fight. Now as you can see from the fight in the background Lucian does eventually go down and Renekton is a big part of that so if he had TP'd closer to Lucian and got him down earlier it may have had a bigger impact. Now just to show you what I mean here's another fight from earlier in the game that is basically the exact same situation as the first one. Now Syndra stuns Lucian followed by a flash box and flay from Thresh and finally a hook to seal the deal. Now this time there was no crucible to break the chain and no summoner heal to mitigate the damage meaning that Curse actually won the fight. So that's all for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is something I haven't done in ages as I said at the start so please let me know what you thought of it and if you enjoyed it and if you want me to do some more and I'll also be doing some more from kind of your games and my games as well. That's it for now though so I'll catch you in my next video.